one of the common tasks to work with CDIS data is to put um, supplemental qualifiers or variables that are related to domains uh, into its separate special purpose domain data set. And this could be generated by a tool on the iPhone called Subqual. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click on it here. Um, the first thing you need to do is select the uh, the data set in which it contains the supplemental variables. So I will first select the library and um, in this example the defined data sets are here. And then I'll select a data set that contains those supplemental qualifiers. So for example, let's say I select um, DM so now that I've selected the data set, I can start to select the variables uh, that are considered supplemental. So for example, if I were to select on the default selection here, it populates the same uh, library and data set, and I can go ahead and select the, the variables. Um, these will, are the variables in the, the data set, DM, that I selected. So this is not a real example, but if I were to select an, a variable for example, how about H units is considered maybe supplemental. And uh, if I were to go back, I can then select on the actual domain in which it's related to. So um, it's defaulted here as AE, but I think since I was at DM, I'll go ahead and select this one. And then um, I'll go back and, oops, I'm sorry, let me just select just the DM, not both domains here. And then um, you can label it uh, for a particular study. And then there's also an ID variable. This is how the supplemental um, data set is in vertical form. It's sorted by this uh, ID var. So I'll go ahead and select. Um, normally, it's some kind of sequence variable. Sometimes it's a date variable. So it, it works out better for sorting. I'll go ahead and just, for this example, use this um, date variable here. And then um, there's also a unique subject ID. Um, oops, uh, I'll select the same from, from the same data set, of course. Uh, the default is always usubject ID, so that's fine. Now I'm going to create a new data set where this supplemental, um, it's called subqual data set, will be created. So I can choose to create it in a different location. So let's say I create it in the CDIS DAT, and I can type in a name of a data set in which I want this um, new data set to be called. So let's say I tap, type here sub um, qual, uh, how about, uh, sometimes it's usually sub, and then uh, the domain DM. I'll just call it test. This is not real, but I'll just call it test. And then I'll go ahead and, and uh, run it here. When I click on run, it would actually read the source data and transpose some of those values. I'll zoom in here. It generates a, a sample output of that transposed um, data set with a few rows. And you can see here, this is the actual subqual, new subqual test data set that it creates and some of the values in that data set here. Uh, this is just like a properly port. And you also have the option of emailing um, this report to you know yourself or other members that are working on this project. So if you tap on email, uh, you can type in the name of the person and the email will look something like this. I just created one myself earlier where it will um, have the text that you uh, you know you can type here along with the attached report similar to the report that um, that we saw earlier. And you can pinch in and zoom in on that report to see you know that particular um, uh, subqual that, that data set that you created. So the creation of this transpose vertical structure sub supplemental qualifier um, could be done 
in a user-friendly uh, interface on the iPhone.